Hello all, welcome to part 15 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to log collection data into the generated extent report. What is collection data? In Java, collection data is nothing but different things like array list, hash set, hash map, all this will come into the collection data. If you want to log such kind of collection data, which is represented in the form of array list or hash map or hash set into the generated extent report, okay, then what we have to do that I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. So how to log the collection data that is a list that is a array list set, hash set and map hash map of Java into the generated extent report okay so we again are going to use a markup helper the similar way we have used markup helper with uh, for logging the xml content for logging the json content into the extent report the similar way we are going to use markup helper for logging the collection data into the generated extent reports but the methods of this markup helper will change okay we are going to use create order list and create an order an ordered list okay create ordered list create an ordered list for that, we are going to pass the array list data or layers, asset data, hash map data, here also same thing, okay? So let me practically demonstrate that for you. So first I'll create an uh, array list, okay? I'll say array list in Java, if you uh, if you know Java, that's fine. If you don't know Java, just find my content on Java, okay? You will, you will understand all the stuff about the collections and I covered everything about collections there in my Java content, fine. So here you should have some Java knowledge to understand this. Okay. So array list, a list is equal to new array list. Like this, I'll create an object for the array list in Java, over the mouse on this array list and import this array list from java.util package. And here we have to provide the generic. That's why we are getting the warning here. Just provide this less than greater than symbol. And here provide, uh, let's say some string, okay. Uh, a list of strings, okay, a list of strings. Once you do that, just come back here and say a list dot uh, give something like this. For example, a list dot add out give some strings like this. Okay, it can act with the strings because are a list of string, right? So we'll give some uh, let's say uh, some days. Let's say Sunday. A list dot add off. Okay, Monday. A list dot add of uh, Tuesday. A list dot add of Wednesday. A list dot add of Thursday. A list dot add of Friday, then a list dot add of Saturday. Okay, like this, I'll give all the dates. Okay, in the string format here, and this should be an order list or an order list. You see, Sunday comes first, then Monday follows, then Tuesday comes, then after Tuesday, Wednesday comes, then Thursday. Then after Thursday, Friday comes, and after the Friday, then Saturday comes. That means there's a particular order of the strings, okay? We can mention these particular strings in. You cannot mention something like uh, Thursday before Monday and all those stuff, right? So this is a proper order. So now the requirement here is I want to log this particular array list data, okay? Array list data into the generated extent report. What I have to do? So for that, First, I'll create a test. Okay. First, I have to create a test using this object reference of extend reports. I'll say ext uh, this uh, extend dot create test. I'll create a sample test at test one. I'll simply mention that as test one. Okay. Now, for the mouse, and uh, it is returning an object of extend test, e test one, I'll say e test one is equal to for the mouse and say create local variable. Now say e test one dot log of status dot info, and here I need to provide this array list. Okay, what if I try to provide this array list directly? What is happening? Let's see first. Okay, it's not accepting. First of all, it's not accepting, guys. Change type of uh, 
RL list to media, something is coming. So it's not allowing me to directly provide the RL list here. So only way we can provide is markup helper. Okay. Just provide markup, markup helper dot create ordered list. Okay. This, this list of uh, uh, elements inside this array list that is Sunday, Monday should be in the order. So it should be create order list. And here I'll provide the array list guys. Okay. Here I'll provide the array list. Okay. Now you see it's accepting. Okay. We have to use markup hel helper. Otherwise you cannot directly provide the array list uh, object reference here. So now it will be, uh, uh, this elements will be, uh, logged into the extent report in a order way that is ordered list means uh, numbering will come. Okay. Instead of bullets, numbers will come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that kind of, uh, numbering kind of will come before this each and every element of this array list in the generated extent report. Let's see that. Okay. So this line will automatically open the extent report once it got generated. So I covered this in the previous sessions. If you don't know about this line, okay. Instead of manually going and opening the report, uh, right clicking and opening the generated report, uh, report in the browser. Okay. By right clicking here and uh, opening the project and all those stuff, you can use this line, which will automatically open the report once the script is run. Okay. Java application. You see once the script is uh, run, once this, uh, got logged into the report, you see a report will be generated. And in that report test one, you see order list has come. So you see, as I mentioned, numbering came one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is the order list. Okay. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. I have logged the array list, uh, elements in the ordered list way. Okay. Into this extent reports. Fine. Now what I will do here is I'll create instead of deleting this one. Okay. I'll just create one more, uh, uh, array list to say another array list I'll create guys. Okay. Array list. Otherwise, I'll copy paste this one. I'll copy paste this one just to save time. Array list, another array list. Okay, control Z. Where is this? I'll copy this array list. Even this uh, extent test also. Till here, I'll copy, guys. Okay, till here, I'll copy. That will save our time. Okay. So I'll just uh, put a line so that you can feel the difference. Uh, this is the first array list I created where I am. Uh, logging the array list elements in the order list way. Okay. But here I'll be using a list to array list to something like this. This is array list one. This is array list two kind of thing. Okay. Here I'll give different colors. Guys. Okay. Colors may not be in a particular order. For example, red, black, green, white, yellow, purple, orange, like this different colors I gave. So is there any particular order in which these colors need to be displayed? Not required. So what I'll do is I'll say, I'll create uh, another test known as create as uh, test two, I'll mention test two, and I'll just save that as e test two, e test two dot log of status, status dot info here again, markup helper dot create here. Instead of create order list, I'm going to use create create unordered list. Okay. Create unordered list. And here I'll provide this, uh, a list too. Okay. Which contains all these elements like red, black, which don't have to be specified in order. So bullets will come. Okay. Instead of numbers, bullets will come this time. Run two tests will be created at, uh, test one will contain order list of, uh, days, whereas test, uh, test two will contain in the report, uh, the unordered list of, uh, colors. Okay. Test one will contain the order list of days. Okay. Because create order list we have used and test two will contain the unordered list of colors. Okay. You see bullets have come here because of we used, we using create unordered list that came. Okay. So similarly, we can go with the has set. Okay. So instead of the array list, if you use has set, what will happen? Let's see. Okay. Just instead of array list, I'll just change into has set. Okay. I'll say has set. I'll say a set, a set here also, uh, has set. I'll import this has set. I'll say a set one better import this has set from Java dot detail package. And I'll say a set dot add, a set dot add, a set dot add. Same, same method is there in the has set also that is add. Okay. So we can add like this. 
and uh, we created the test test one and here instead of uh, a list to a list uh, we are going to give a set one okay so just converted the array list into the hash set guys and then provided the object reference of this asset containing all this case and here we are again using create order list let's see what will happen here the elements will be stored in the uh, uh, it will not be stored in the given order case they will be stored in a random order but let's see how the output will come okay in the random order they will be stored so it may not be sunday monday tuesday Wednesday, thursday friday saturday even though numbering is there in this output uh, again the same thing here guys here also this array list i'll change into asset 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 I, here I'll say a set two and I'll copy this a set two here. The method is same dot add method is same. And here I'll give it as a set two in the test two. Okay. Uh, okay. Everything is same. That's fine. Let's see how the output will come. This elements which are added in a this order. Okay. You see a first one red got added to the asset, but in the computer memory, whether red will be stored in the first position or not, we don't know. Okay. It will be stored. The difference between array list and has you already know is that array list will store based on the index, whereas has doesn't have an index, it will store in a random order irrespective of in the order in which you are adding the elements into the has Okay. So let's see how the output will come. Report will be generated and we'll see the output now. You see the report got generated, guys. And the test one, you see, you see, Monday came, Thursday came, Friday. You see, order is even though numbering is there, but uh, the order is coming different, right? You see Monday, Tuesday, but uh, I, in our list, it was coming properly as Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but here, because the elements will be stored in a random order, the uh, the element that got stored first into the has set into the computer memory will be given number one and so on, okay? As I mentioned already. Here, red, white, yellow, purple, black, orange, green, okay? It may not be, it, it may be different order, but here, an order list means Bullets will come here, order list means numbers will come. Okay, that's the only thing that you have to just see. Now, finally, we have one more thing left uh, as part of this uh, logging collection data. Apart from this time set, we can also add the map data, that is hash map data into the generated extent report. We can log that, okay? So uh, let's do one thing, same thing, but uh, here we'll use hash map, guys. Okay, instead of hash set, we'll use hash map. But hash map will contain not single elements, it will contain key value pairs. Here only values are there, but here key values will be there in the hash map. I have to give string comma string, let's say, or string comma object, I will say otherwise. Okay, string comma object. Import this hash map from java.detail package. Here also give hash map and say string comma object here. Key, key will be in the form of string and uh, value will be anything. So object can store any type of data. So I'm giving the object here. Um, here ha hash map, right? Uh, uh, I'll say h map one. Okay, h map one. I'll give. Uh, so here it will be different story altogether. H map one dot. Okay, h map one dot. Uh, uh, here we have to say put. Okay, put. Here add add command will not be there. Add method will not be there. Put method will be there. Here I have to give the string. Let's say. I'll give first name. First name is uh, I'll give my details. Let's say Arun. Then hmap one dot put off. Uh, let's say last name. Last name. And here I'll give as my last name. Sorry. Then hmap dot so let's say experience your experience experience i'll give in the form of a number let's say 16 hmap one dot put off uh, location i'll give the location as other bar then hmap one here we'll created the test one and uh, the same thing applies to test dot log and here markup helper dot create order list of hash map one I'll say okay and here I'll not create another uh, hash map okay instead what I'll do is I'll create another test that is test two in the test two I'll log it as e test two dot log of uh, markup helper dot create an order list of hash map one same hash map in an order list way I'm printing okay 
here key value pairs are there okay unlike the array list and uh, hash set he, here we have the key value pairs whereas array list and hash set only have the single elements whereas here key value elements are there so test one under the test one in the report this details will be displayed in a order list with a numbering one two three four something like that here four things are there one two three four whereas here an order list means uh, same data that is key value pairs data will be logged into the uh, generated extent reports in a order, an order list way using bullets okay under the rest of the same report okay let's see how the report will come see the report generated as you can see test one contains uh, order list one two three four here experience is the key and 16 is the value some uh, separation colon symbol is there guys okay if you can you can maximize this you can understand okay. yeah here you can see colon is there okay colon is coming i'll just go into the normal mode okay and coming to the test two, we have the bullets, okay, an order list. Again, here also colon is there, separating the key and value, key and value, okay. Experience 16, first name Arun, last name Motori, location Hyderabad, okay. Here also experience and all. Fine. So, this is note, hoping that you understood how to log the collection, different collection data that like uh, list set, hash, uh, list set and map into the generated extent reports, okay. Array list hash set and hash map into the generated extent report, okay. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.